sparkly darlings. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. And if you have not signed up for the, um, the open day that I'm having on the Magical Millionaire membership, join me tomorrow at 6.30 for the magic. If you want to really know how fucking crazy I am, <laughs> you'll find, soon find out a Magical Millionaire membership. But today I'm going to talk to you about personal policies. So part of your homework was to create a personal policies um, page. Now, personal policies is not your T's and C's, like not your policies for your clients, but rather your personal policies for yourself. So your rules, if you like, for yourself. Um, so for me, my personal policies are that I will journal every morning, regardless of how late I get up, regardless of how I feel, I will journal every fucking morning. It's just a complete and utter non-negotiable for me. Um, some other examples of my personal policies are that I will always tell the truth, even if it is unpalatable. Pretty important for a coach, right? Um, but of course, it's a personal policy, so it spills over into relationships as well. And just, we'll go and ask my husband, shall we, how he finds that personal policy. <laughs> Colin, how do you like hearing the truth, even when it's unpalatable? Yeah, it's okay. Is it lovely? Mm, mm -hmm. absolutely. He doesn't think it's lovely at all. Anyway, it's a personal policy, right? And the way that we do one thing in our life is the way that we do everything in our life. So when we try and compartmentalize ourselves, it really doesn't work. This is why these personal policies are great. Um, some of my clients' examples of personal policies, and I'm sure that the beautiful Jackie won't mind me sharing this with you. Um, Jackie, um, at Heartspace, you should check her out, she's super awesome. One of her personal policies is that she no longer gives without giving to herself, or sorry, receiving in return, right? That's a brilliant personal policy. It will stop your, you know, your bucket from being emptied. So what are your personal policies that you choose to have to make your life solid? So last week we talked about um, calendars. And of course, in order to have time and space and stick to your schedules, you're gonna need some personal policies. So is it a personal policy that you get up at, you know, half an hour before the kids get up? Is it your personal policy that when a time is up in your calendar, that actually you down tools and you do the next thing on the calendar? Or is it your personal policy that, um, that your calendar is, is there loosely to guide you? And if something needs to move out, and go to another space in the calendar, that's fine. And then maybe you have another personal policy around that except for your sales actions, right? So the kind of rules and, and exceptions and what a personal policy does is it stops you from having to use the old noggin when it's something that's a personal policy, like I make 10 sales actions a day. It's a personal policy. So there's no, you know, no point in me asking myself, do I feel like it? Well, it's a fucking policy. I said that the rules for empowerment empires were that I would be doing 10 sales actions a day, so just get on with it, bitch. It doesn't matter that you're tired, you're going to be doing it, right? So personal policies help you to make decisions. Um, another good personal policy is I always say no to any invitation. My, my always go-to is no, I'm not doing it. And then, if I change my mind later on, generally people will happily let you still go, right? But I say no because I'm like, oh yeah, that's such a good idea, because it's just my personality type, and then I'm like, oh my God, now I'm overcommitted, and I'm overwhelmed, and I don't want to let other people down because I'm a people pleaser, and it just gets too hard. So I have a personal policy where I just automatically say no instead. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I put it up on, um, on my wall. Um, well, I used to have them clearly up on, on my wall, my personal policies. These days, um, I'm more likely to have my, my prayer up on my wall that I do because I'm pretty good with my personal policies. I know exactly what they are these days. Um, but to start with, you want to make it look pretty in Canva and print it out and put it up on your wall. And I'll introduce you to goddess prayers a whole lot further down the track. I hope you're having a fabulous time and I hope that your diaries have been wrangled and that you're feeling like the powerful bitch that you are and I will see you tomorrow. Remember, together we will rise.